Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Donald and Melania arrive back at White House together and find nasty surprise. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump were back at the White House this past weekend and they sure walked into a big surprise. As they were walking in, they noticed a chant coming out of the sky, one look around and oh my goodness. There it is. The protesters who are chanting lock him up and totally disrespecting the President of the United States. Nothing new for the Trump family as they're well-seasoned veterans by now as they've endured plenty of loudmouths and do-nothings from the liberal activists who still don't get it that no one listens to their protests. The only security that seemed to be present was that which protects the first family and keeps the protesters under control, even though they're potentially suffering from Trump derangement syndrome. It's one thing to disagree and dislike the president, but to arrive at his home and scream into the sky could mean they're partially deranged. We're not doctors, but we surely know screaming into the air isn't going to be effective nor get the president locked up and thrown in prison. Trump and his wife weren't locked up, so the protesters didn't accomplish their task. Donald and Melania would need to commit a real crime to be locked up, and there's just nothing that they can be locked up for. Of course, the protesters don't understand that screaming at people won't change anything. They could also be spending their time helping out in their community or going to work or spending time with. It's one thing to speak with your voice, but it's obnoxious to scream at people and think they're going to listen. Also, who is going to lock him up? The Secret Service? There is security. If anything. They would lock up the protesters who are causing a public nuisance and possibly engaging in disorderly conduct. Some of Twitter's finest candidates for Trump derangement syndrome supported the screaming out loud in protests as they posted their views on social media. The term Trump derangement syndrome is being thrown around towards protesters and people who constantly and deliberately bash the president and fail to see any good out of the White House. Even when things are going well, such as unemployment improving and the economy in general picking up, the people who simply hate Donald Trump refuse to acknowledge those accomplishments. It's sad that some people want to see America fail only because the president is not Hillary Clinton. Those people who refuse to accept their president and constantly throw him under the bus for reasons they sometimes make up or purposely look for are suffering from the social media phenomenon known as Trump derangement syndrome. The TDS has already made its way to the Urban Dictionary. This isn't the best source of information, but it's basically what the people believe it means. Of course, the Urban Dictionary is often edited slash updated by the users, similar to Wikipedia, so take that with a grain of salt. However, it doesn't mean they're wrong about this one. Urban Dictionary is mostly for fun, so do not confuse it as an authority of information, but do enjoy a good laugh. Trump Derangement Syndrome TDS, is a mental condition in which a person has been driven effectively insane due to their dislike of Donald Trump, to the point at which they will abandon all logic and reason. Symptoms for this condition can be very diverse, ranging from hysterical outbursts to a complete mental break. TDS can also often result in the sufferer exhibiting violent, homicidal, or even genocidal desires. Sufferers have also been known to wish direct self-harm on themselves, such as increased taxes, a desire for an economic recession, and even nuclear war, provided that action might in some way hurt Donald Trump. Paranoia is also a common symptom of TDS. Sufferers have been known to believe that they are in some way being persecuted, and in some cases believe they are about to be a victim of genocide. The paranoia does however not seem to be bad enough to make TDS sufferers act on their beliefs to the extent of attempting to actually leave the United States. If properly treated, sufferers of TDS can make a full recovery. Many sufferers have been known to grow out of TDS, yet many can only be treated by having their condition directly treated through the application of logical reasoning. It is also known that products containing soy can exasperate the condition. Did you hear what Sarah said the other day? She was saying how the US is more authoritarian than North Korea, and that we're actually the bad guys. She says she wants to move to North Korea when she graduates. Yeah I know. She has a serious case of TDS. What's that? Trump derangement syndrome. Is it treatable? Not for someone doing gender studies, it isn't. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.